Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove beta software from your iPhone or iPad. Let's get started. All right, so this phone right here is running iOS 17. It's the public beta. And if you are using beta software with your iPhone, it could become problematic at times, especially when updating to the full version of Apple's latest software. So if you run into trouble, what you wanna do first is determine which software you had prior to the update. So we had iOS 16.4. So if you have iOS 16.4 or later, before you ran the beta software update, you're going to open your settings, tap general, and tap software update. It'll search for a second, just tap on beta updates, and here is where you can actually turn the beta updates off. Now what this is going to do is stop the beta updates from automatically popping up, and it should revert back to the automatic updates for the standard iOS when they're available. Now you can play with these settings as well if you'd like to control if it automatically updates or not with the real software, the full versions. Now if you did have iOS 16.3, or older before you ran this, what you need to do is go to the general tab here of your settings. You then wanna scroll down to where it says VPN and device management. And then here you'll see an, a section where it says beta profile or profile, something like that. You'll need to remove it from there. Now keep in mind, you're not going to revert back to your original software. So as you can see on mine here, I'm still on iOS 17, even though I turned those updates off. That's why when you install these betas, it's recommended you run a backup first. That way, once you've turned this off, you can then reinstall that backup and be brought back to the older version of iOS you originally had. If this video helped you, hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. But this is how you remove any iOS or iPadOS beta software from your iPhone or iPad.